So far we've looked at converging lenses, which are sometimes called convex lenses, and these type of lenses are bulging outwards, Oops, slightly weird shaped lens, and the principal axis goes through the center, that's the line of symmetry of the lens if you like, and any ray that's parallel to that principal axis that enters the lens will be converged to the principal focus. Oops. Excuse the slightly wavy lines. So that's a converging lens. The other type of lens is called a diverging. A diverging lens lenses and these are sometimes called concave and instead of bulging they have a bulge inwards and the same ideas hold though Oops. let's make a slightly straighter principal axis principal axis now, any parallel rays that come into the lens which are parallel to the principal axis they will be diverged this time away from the principal axis. The one that goes through the center will just carry on in a straight line as they always do. Now the clever thing with diverging lenses is that if you track back the diverged rays you'll find that they will track back to oops, a point which is the principal focus. F. Remember the principal focus occurs on both sides of the lens so there'll be another one over here because the light could come from the other direction. So that's a difference between a converging lens and a diverging lens. So let's take a look at this flashcard about diverging lenses. So carefully copy and complete the ray diagram to show how a diverging or concave lens forms an image. We need to describe the nature of the image produced. So here's our concave, our diverging lens, and we've got an object here, this arrow, and we can see that the lens has got a principal focus F and on the other side of the lens as well. These rays are going to be diverged away from the principal axis apart from the one that goes straight through the center when that will carry straight on. We're going to select just two rays which is all we need really to draw a ray diagram. So let's take a look at this situation and draw a ray diagram. So first of all this parallel ray of light that comes in is going to be diverged away from the principal axis as if it were to go through the principal focus on the other side. So I'm just going to draw that in for the moment and I think there we go you can just see that that seems to have come from the principal focus I'm just going to take that away for the moment the other ray which goes through the optical center now that ray will carry straight on in a straight line so if I with my big eye It's rather big eye, sorry. Um, if you can just about see that that's an eye, were to receive those light rays and my eye were to focus them onto my retina, then I would think that they came from a, a single point. And I would track them back until they seem to converge. And in fact, that is what we've got here. My eye or my brain would look along this ray and think, oh, well, these rays must have come from a single point here and our brain forms an image and so we see a, a virtual image formed it's not really there it cannot be projected onto a screen and it's on the same side as the as the object just because those two rays which I've received in my eye I think they've come from a, a certain point on the tip of the arrow so the nature of this image is that it is virtual. It is also upright, the right way up. And it is 
diminished.